start it with this lot behind me, shall we? Morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever the fluff you are. As you can see, the building site is still behind me. That is where Market Gate was, and since there is still a hole here, I'll give you all a quick look of what it looks like in there. It's quite messy, actually. It's not too bad. Things are progressing, as you can see, there is more of it gone, going right down to its uh, main steels, which is not a bad idea. At least they're slowly pulling it down and it's actually coming away. And if I can zoom in on that bit right there, you can see just where it used to be connected to the wood over there. And just where the two walls would intersect and be pinned. So it's not too bad in all of that. And it does look like it's actually coming down. I'm not sure whether that is actually quicker than what was thought or what but I'm still a bit unsure of whether there was actually meant to still be kind of like you know the old kind of like let's just say airframe just sat up there on the roof I don't really know but to keep it all to blend into all of this which is what would be nice especially with kind of like you know all of the, the wood and all of the black and white or the badger colours you know some of the badger inks in the old schools Zoom into that 19, like 1905 and 1906 on there. So, whether that is when they were actually built, maybe refurbed, don't really know. I'm not actually a native of here, as some of you might know from some of my older ones. I did live in Chorley most all of my life up until about 2018. Yes, I have family that lived here, but that's by the by. Side the point. Oh, and I could hear some uh, noise, so I think. Yep. We have a truck which has just gone. And we have activity. Oh, activity. So, yeah, we do have some diggers somewhere. Yep, there we go. Beard de Some diggers, I think. There's one metal munching dino on the top with a smaller munching dino and a little bit of a mini digger. And I have actually progressed with this because last time I was here there was still a phase where it would actually jut out. So, yes, this is coming on. Yeah, it is coming down slowly. Maybe they're stopping for dinner, I don't know, but I mean, obviously. They're going to need to get some water for their Bowser so that they can put the dust busters on. You can see where the roofing structure was because there's the uh, lead flashing on the sides there and everything else. And on the ramp up to what was some of the old backways and gantryways for uh, the old internals over there. Obviously there's still a lecky box so that's got to be because, uh, well, everything needs lecky. Obviously looking from some of the trenching works below, they've separated a lot of the stuff out. They've done a lot of other stuff. Uh, you can still see some of the roofing structure over there, which we will wander down there now. A bit more of the glass work has come out from over here, obviously. Still there, you can still see right into there for some of the skeleton. right into there for the skeletons of it. Awesome. But I'll tell you what, I'm sure the guys on the demolition crew are probably having quite a bit of fun knocking this place down. And then, obviously, <laughs> anyone that's done Halloween nights and stuff like that would know what these walkways consist usually of kind of like a walkway and entryway of doom. Even though it's nothing to do with doom, it just seems that way. Let's see the toilet still though, so I can do that uh, stupid joke of shitting in the danger zone. Let's just see. Is it there or has it been removed? Ah, stupid. 
Nope, still that. Danger Zone toilet is still in situ. <laughs> uh, gotta get away with these stupid jokes sometimes. Still not removed the lead flash from there, but that'll probably come later. Gonna be a lot of metalwork coming down from that parking lot, I'll tell you that. And obviously, all this lot is still open. Which is good, because we need everything open. We need everything open as possible. Obviously someone busted a window out, but hey, like I said, demolition crews and having fun which by the looks of one of those windows yeah there's bits coming down further inside of there so obviously they are doing something in there what it is we will never know the secrets of demolition <laughs> it's always fun so we'll go check where the other car park is and see the uh, old shop has disappeared or not we will be on pause. So, has it succumbed to everything? By the looks of that, I would say it has succumbed to the ravages of the concrete metal munching dinosaurs. Or the metal concrete munching dinosaurs, whichever way you prefer to see it but there's the uh, mega mountain of shit and there is the sorter which is right there the conveyor belt which would spit it all off into its mountain of shit and there's one of the other excavators and that great big hulk there is just sitting waiting to be demolished The smell, Let's just say that. The smell of demolition. The smell of concrete dust and brick dust. And everything else. It's just you can smell it. Whether you like that smell or not, I don't know. I know some people might like that smell. But it's just the smell that when you've been on sites where people have like demoed an internal wall in their house or you know you've had a demolition go on near to where you are you can smell it especially because of some of the way that the walls are constructed inside some buildings with those like breeze blocks and cinder blocks and stuff now that tower is probably still going to be a pain in the arse to drop but it does look like the old games and more shop has gone to what level three i believe that one was over there Level 4 is now open and in the uh, Grand Arcade where Warriors World was. I'm going to keep saying that. But yeah, this place is definitely um, a lot more done than it seems to be. I'm still going to keep saying because we've got loads of pigeons up there. And why some of the uh, upper floors and some of the other places couldn't have been turned into apartments or at least you know, decent sized flats, I don't know because they could have done this a long time ago not all of this demolition but some of getting like you know central apartments one thing i am going to ask is this one seems to be a bit of a thing because obviously there is a lot more to it than what people think for you know that but to you personally is we in just a large town or is it a city now Looking at the numbers, we've got over 150, over 200,000, close to 300,000 people within the borough. So for people-wise, we're over 100,000, so you could classify that as a city. We have two major sporting teams, just in Wigan alone, Warriors and Athletic. And then if you go further out in within the borough, you've also got Lee. So that makes three major sporting teams. Yeah, we don't have a cathedral. All that lot. But come on, we've got all of that. We've got major travel links we're close to Manchester and close to Liverpool. All of that lot. We're close to Preston as well, which is also as classified as a city, but it's actually got a small population. Jolly, it's a far away, and that's going getting close to 50 or 60, maybe even 70,000 people. There's a lot of big urban areas growing up. So, 
for you if you could put something down below. Do you regard it as a city or is it still just a large town? And another thing, if you could always just smack that like. If you want to subscribe, subscribe, uh, comment. And if you want to, you can always share the biz out of this. Because I always love the attention. Anyway, I will bid you adieu.